to obtain the grid phase angle and the frequency it is very necessary to implement the synchronization technique such as the phase locked loop phase locked loop or PLL is one of the most widely used synchronization techniques for the extraction of the phase angle in a grid connected microgrid the first PLL was introduced in 1923 and it was implemented in the synchronization of communication systems without Doppler shift. The PLL consists of the phase detector that determines the phase difference between the input signal and the output signal to provide a good error signal. The phase detector is usually a comparator or a multiplier. The voltage controlled oscillator or VCO generates the signal for frequency control. The PLL consists of the low pass filter which is employed for noise and high frequency signal reduction or rather noise control. The phase voltages are transformed from the DQ synchronous reference frame. The D component is the magnitude of the real value and the Q is the error. The error is fed to the PI controller. The PI controller output is applied to the integrator to obtain the phase angle theta. So let's now see how we can implement PLL in MATLAB or in Simulink. Previously we did a video on Clark transformation. You can check it out on the top right corner and I'll also leave the link in the description box below.
to avoid overflow that is the number over shooting to infinity with time wrapping is done using the mod 2 pi Watch the video right here on the top right corner for grid connected microgrid and also for a standalone inverter where we've used the phase locked loop or rather where we've implemented the phase locked loop. The phase angle ranges from 0 to 2 pi as can be seen in the waveform. Don't forget to leave a comment, like and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this.